What's going on and welcome to another edition of Oil & Gears. Today we're going to do two things to the first gen Scion XB that deals with maintenance and safety. The first thing we're going to deal with is safety and that involves the tail lights. Sometimes people are wondering why the reverse lights aren't working. They've checked the harness on their tail lights, they've checked the bulbs, they've checked the fuses and nothing works. I had the same problem. I had no idea what was going on. And then I found out that there is a reverse light switch in the engine compartment underneath the OEM intake. So I'm gonna show you how to change that right now. So the way to get to the reverse light switch is to take out your OEM intake. If you do have an OEM intake, you'll take the top off, you'll take the filter out, and then you'll notice three bolts here that you're going to need to unscrew. Once you've unscrewed that, you take out the bottom half of the intake and you'll notice the reverse light switch right here. So sometimes you're going to need some pliers just to pinch right here and take out, or you can do it by hand. So now that you have this done, you're going to need a 1 and 1 16th socket or a 27 millimeter socket with an extension. There you have it. This is the reverse light switch. So sometimes what causes this not to work is this will get stuck once it gets old and it won't push down. So once you put it in reverse, this will push down. Once you take it out, it'll release. And that's what triggers your tail lights to show that you have the reverse light on. Now that you have the part, now we'll install it back into the Scion. All right, now that we've dealt with safety and we changed out the reverse light switch, now we're gonna turn to the PCV valve. Now the PCV valve will actually make your car idle rough. So now I'm gonna teach you how to change this valve out and it's really simple. Let's get to it. So the first thing that you're gonna need to do is take off the valve cover. Now there's four screws here, two at the top and two at the bottom here. They're 10 millimeter screws. Once you've taken those off, take your valve cover and you'll see the PCV valve right here. So the first thing you want to do is remove this clip here. And what you'll need to take this out is a 19 millimeter deep socket. All 
All right, so now that we've taken it off, we want to inspect it, make sure there's not a lot of black oil on there or residue or anything like that. This can cause some shakes in your car or rough idling. Uh, so now that we have this taken off, it's real easy to put back in. I'll put a link in the description for you for a new PCV valve. Well, there you have it. Two things on the first gen Scion XB that will help you in maintenance and in safety. I hope this video was helpful. You can find me on Instagram at oil and gears, like, share, comment, subscribe. We'll see you on the flip side. Peace.